Bonaire's baby beach in winter. Strong easterly winds drive waves in rolling cauldrons of foam, spray, and water across the sea floor. You can see the remnants of sargassum driven by these waves and resting in piles on the shore. Entering here involves walking across a hard bottom laced with sharp coral and rock boring sea urchins that with every dive work to claim another piece of your dive gear. The walkout can be treacherous. You have to make it out past the wave break zone without being thrown onto that treacherous bottom before you can get your fins on. You might ask why anyone would brave these elements. The reason is you are highly likely to see young Caribbean reef sharks. With the drama behind, the sea is quite serene. A stretch of beautiful sea fans, sea plumes, and sea rods lead you to the crest of a ridge that leads you down into the abyss. A solitary barracuda swims just below the crest. Small fish take off from our approaching lights. Here is a beautiful barrel sponge. This spotted drum ducks for cover. Our dive buddy Ando shows me his mastery of camera buoyancy. You can't help wonder why the small fish are so skittish. Could it be that they are accustomed to hiding from large predators? Early in 2019, Stanapa who manages the marine park, offered me to come along and join them on a shark tagging expedition that would include Baby Beach. Stanapra hired local fishermen to take us out to tag sharks from Sorbon. Joining us was Tadio from the Dutch Caribbean Nature Alliance. We left from Sorbon and headed out for the Lac Kai Inlet. This research is used to help determine shark migration patterns so that they may be better protected. Sharks are captured for tagging by baiting hooks attached to lines with weights placed on the bottom and marked by floats. Roxy, a Sinapa marine biologist, logs the GPS location of the first drop within Lac Kai. The first line is dropped and we move out to the open sea. At our next drop, Paulo drops in to find an open sandy area to place the concrete weight. This is a protected marine reserve and no coral can be damaged. Our next drop is Baby Beach, which is known for its young Caribbean reef sharks. Paulo has found a drop point and brings the weight out to be placed on the sandy bottom. We cannot leave the lines out for very long as small sharks cannot survive on the hooks. Eventually, we come back to Baby Beach and we have a shark on. The team realizes it is a juvenile and got to work quickly removing the carbon steel hook. These hooks dissolve after a month, but here the hook is removed. Tazio moves quickly to get water passing through the shark's gills. Due to fast work by the team, the shark was just fine. 
We only got one shark that day, and it made me want to go back and get a diver's view of what lied beneath. Where are we now? Oh yeah, camera buoyancy. The Baby Beach dive site has a number of sets of long hills and valleys that work their way down to the sea floor. Although the coral is not as dense as Bonaire's Southern Reef, the colors are beautiful and small fish tend to congregate in areas making it attractive for small Caribbean reef sharks. Camouflaging well against the wall, this small reef shark is on the hunt. I tried to call Ando to get his attention, apparently not loud enough. Going farther down the wall, the lights start to fade. A little farther down, we find this nurse shark sleeping behind a coral head. We are close enough to see the skin dendrites to understand why it feels like sandpaper. Tilefish are very cool. Their fin movement allows them to stop immediately. In hopes of a closer encounter, we descend. Finally, out of the dimly lit terrain, a larger Caribbean reef shark swims between Doreen and me. These sharks are so graceful, you find yourself becoming mesmerized. At this point, it turns to give me a look and slowly swims off. As we reach the sand, a beautiful spotted eagle ray heads north. Its tail is huge. Moving towards the base of the wall, we find another large red sponge. Looking inside, we find a schoolmaster. Swimming south, the camera lights pick up this southern ray. Clearly wanting no part of me. Just up the wall, this enormous school of yellowtail snapper crosses our path. These fish tend to inhabit rocky ledges between 60 and 90 meters, or 200 to 300 feet. Juveniles are found between 6 and 18 meters, or 20 to 60 feet. We are around 27 meters, or 90 feet, here. A bit farther up, we find a school of blue-striped grunt. These tend to drift in schools of this size near coral formations. The juvenile queen trigger gives me the look. This green moray watched us like a hawk. Heading up in the water column, a school of chubs comes to visit. This one was getting ready to be cleaned. Once above the crest of the wall, this large school of fish materializes in the afternoon sun. Getting out in front of the school, we see a variety of fish dominated by schoolmasters. With the sun behind me, you can see the moving clouds reflecting across the schoolmaster.
As I swim towards the surface to see another marine animal, we watch this beautiful school swim away against Baby Beach's rough landscape. As you can see, the Baby Beach dive site is much more than Caribbean reef sharks. At the surface, we discover a small green turtle taking a breath of air. I decide to follow it down. The closer we get to the bottom, the colors start to materialize. This little guy is not the least bit intimidated by me. Suddenly, it turns to see who is following. You have to love these gentle green turtle eyes. We want to give a big thank you to the people of Stanapa and the Dutch Caribbean Nature Alliance for allowing me to come along on one of their research efforts and for all the wonderful things you do for the sea. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.